this class we learned how to use connection tool and extrude tool and by using these tools we create a stool model so i create a box by using top viewport click and drag and define a base and then define height and click here to define this height then right click to exit from the box tool or you can also click on the escape key so you can exit from the box tool now i switch to select and move tool and i can move this in the y axis after moving this object in the y axis now i convert this into a editable poly object because connect and extrude tool work with the editable poly model so i right click and choose convert to editable poly you can see editable poly options available here and by clicking on this small arrow you can expand subdivision of this editable poly object by clicking on the vertex subdivision you can select these vertex and in case if you want to make some changes in the vertex position object design will be changed like this now i press ctrl z or you can also make changes with the edge mode also I click on the edge and select this top edge from the perspective viewport or you can also select from the top viewport like this or by moving in the Z axis I can change uh, the design like this now I press ctrl Z same as you can also select polygon this surface uh, called polygon and by using this you can select or by pressing delete you can delete this it's a hollow area when you delete a polygon a border will be created you can select this border with the help of this edge when you click on this this border will be selected in case if you want to create a polygon on the border choose cap tool by clicking on this you can create a cap or polygon so these are subdivisions of a editable poly object now i create connection and define area for creating uh, legs for this table so i switch to edge subdivision mode and then click outside so all the edges got deselected and then create a window selection like this so i can select these edges from the top i show you top and bottom same as other side also so all the edges got selected then right click uh, choose connect tool make sure click on this checkbox or setting button so this option will display on the screen here you can define number of connections i type uh, 2 and then apply total 2 connection will uh, created now i click outside so they got deselected press f4 to shading if you want to select this edge you can select with the window selection but side edges will be selected but we want to select only this mid edge so first i click outside to deselect and then click on this edge so this edge selected from the top viewport in the perspective viewport you can see uh, it's not selected from the side and this bottom area so in case if you want to select this from the all side double click on this edge i double click here so it got selected from the all side it's called loop selection after selecting this edge from the loop you can select this handle and move in a direction same as i select this edge by double click and then move in the y axis same as i create other edge at this position also so i create a window selection and then add two more connections okay then click outside to deselect then double click on this edge so it got selected from the all side and then move in the bottom side so this area defined now now i select this and move little bit down with the help of double click now i create vertical connections so i can define this area right click create connect 
this time I click on the connect so last parameter will apply it with the help of these handles I can move this click outside to deselect then double click and then move so you can see these area uh, defined with the connections by using these area you can create legs uh, same as I create a another connection at this place so I select these edges right click click on the setting button this time I create a uh, single connection and then move this connection in the x axis now I switch to perspective viewport uh, by selecting these defined area I can create legs so first I switch to polygon subdivision so I can select these polygons make sure this select option is selected so I can select only these polygons by pressing control key you can select multiple polygons then right click find extrude you can find this extrude in the side panel also and click on this setting button this setting button also available here I click here click on the first parameter drop down and choose local polygon with the help of second parameter you can define extrude amount then apply so you can see these selected polygon extrude in a uh, z axis same as in case if you want to create a leg or wooden support you can select these polygon and apply extrude tool on the selected polygon first i select these polygon with the help of control key press and hold control key and then click on these polygon so they got selected i think these polygon are also selected you can see so first click outside so all the polygon got deselected then press control key and then select only these polygons then right click click on the extrude setting button so you can see these parameter and make some changes in case if you want to apply some changes then click on the apply button uh, click outside to deselect and make sure after making changes click on the editable poly so editing mode will be closed so with the help of extrude and connect tool you can create a wooden furniture like this 